Hello and welcome to Digital Goulash. My name is Chucky and today we're going to take a look at this Halloween looking ghostly effect that I've created in Photoshop Elements. We've got these nice bright eyes and then we have this really dark looking figure. Now the original photo is by the Code Poet and I want to thank the Code Poet for the use of this image through the Creative Commons Flickr licensing. Let's go ahead and jump right in and let's get started with this. As you can see on the right hand side I have a number of different layers here. None of them are locked of course. So let's go ahead and revert my image back to the original one. Let's go to Edit Revert and there we have my original image. Now the first thing I like to do of course is go over and unlock the layer by double clicking on the lock icon right here turning that into layer 0. The next thing I want to do is go ahead and make a little bit darker image, a little bit more contrast and make it black and white. So let's go ahead and go under the enhanced and let's go and convert this into a black and white. And as you can see, that's kind of a nice look right there. But I'm going to go ahead and pick portraits right there. Deepens the eyes a little bit right there. So I'm going to select OK. So now we have a nice black and white image. OK, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go under the Enhance. And we're going to go to Adjust Lighting. And we're going to adjust the levels. Now that is a command or a control L right there. So let's go ahead and click on that. Now as you can see there is some white image information missed. So we could go ahead and take that down just a little bit. Give it a little bit more contrast by putting it right here at the edge. Now we kind of need to darken this entire image here. So I'm going to slide the gray slider, slider over to the right a little bit. Kind of making this a little bit darker here. And then last but not least take the black slider and then as you can see some of the edges are starting to go away now so let's go ahead and select OK so it's starting to look really good now but what we need to do is we need to lighten the eyes up just a tad bit so let's go ahead and go over here to the dodge tool we want to dodge because we want to make it a little bit lighter I'm going to adjust the brush size of my dodge tool to it so it's just about the same size as the eye right there and then I'm just going to click it a couple times and make it a little bit lighter because what we've done is we've made the image darker now we need to make the eyes just a little bit lighter so there we go it's starting to look real nice this one eye is not quite as light as that eye so there we go we are starting to have a nice looking effect right there so the next thing that I need to do is I need to add a layer underneath this particular layer because we're going to change the opacity Watch what happens when I change the opacity and slide that layer down a little bit. As you can see, the little checkerboard pattern starts to happen. Now, we can't really tell what the picture is going to look like, so what we need to do is we need to add a layer underneath. Let me slide that back to 100%. Now, if you hold the Control or the Command key, and then you click on the new layer icon, which I call the dog ear one, and click it, it adds a layer underneath it, and there we have it. And what I want to do is I want to add and edit that and fill it with black. So there we go. There's my black. I'm going to go ahead and do that. So there we have it. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to layer 0. Now I'm going to dial down that opacity right here. Kind of give it a, a nice effect there. It's starting to look really, really nice there. Now let's go ahead and slide that back up to 100% because now what I want to do is I want to cut the eyes out and I want to put those on a new layer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the polygon lasso and I'm just going to kind of cut each one of these eyes out because we're going to make the rest of the picture dark and then the eyes are going to be really light. Now you don't have to get really exact because we're going to use some of the selection tools to make this what we want. So after you've got that selected go to the selection tools and refine the edge. Now what you want to do is make sure that you're on the third one which is black and that's going to blacken everything out. Now I want to contract mine just a little bit because I don't want quite that much eye showing. Then I want to make sure that that's nice and feathered right there and I want to make sure that that's nice and smooth so what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to adjust these to however you have selected the eye on yours don't use my numbers here just make it so that it looks good I'm gonna select OK and there we have it now I want to use my infamous commander control J and what that's going to do is it's going to add the eye on a new layer let's go ahead and turn the visibility layer off there it is now make sure that you click on layer 0 again you still have the polygon tool selected so let's go ahead and select the eye 
the second eye right here and like I said it does not have to be exact we're gonna go ahead and select that because the selection tool and the refine edge is gonna make that a little bit smoother once again we're going to go to select we're gonna refine our edge and as you can see you can see that there I'm gonna keep these just about where they are but maybe not so much on the contract right there and I'm gonna select OK and there we have it now I'm going to do a command J one more time so each one of these eyes is on a separate layer now what we need to do is we need to go in there and we need to lower the opacity of this so let's go ahead and go to layer 0 and lower the opacity just a little bit so there we go we're starting to get that nice creepy looking effect with the eyes and there we go now the only problem is is this does look good uh, I've got this selected these do look good right here but it needs to be burnt a little bit more on the edges to give it that real creepy look so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select my burn tool which is underneath the dodge that we just used I wanna make sure that I have a brush that's fairly large size and then I'm going to go and click on each one of the layers that's the right eye I believe and then this is the left eye so the right eyes right there just gonna brush over real quick the very top of that eye then I'm gonna go to layer 2 and I'm gonna brush over the top of that eye right there and there we have it we have pretty much finished with this It's kind of a real creepy looking effect right here Now, if you wanted to add a little bit of color to these lips right here we could go in there and we could select a nice dark red color which I've already done right in here nice dark red color and then I'm going to select my brush tool which is right there I'm gonna add a new layer onto my picture right there I'm just gonna paint a little bit right there because you're not gonna be able to see very much of it I'm gonna paint that right in there and then I'm going to change my blending mode and I'm gonna go down to color dodge and it's gonna give it just that little bit of that red color on the lips right there so now it's kinda got that really eerie looking nice ghostly Halloweeny effect right there this is Chucky hope you enjoyed that tutorial kind of a nice thing to do on Halloween take some of your friends and make this kinda creepy looking picture right there if you haven't done so already please subscribe to my videos pass my link on to your friends and give me a like cheers